Introducing the 2025 Toyota Camry, the next year's anticipated best-selling hybrid. While it's a prediction, the odds are favorable for Toyota's new mid-size sedan to claim this honor. Last year, only 12% of the 290,649 Camrys sold in America were hybrids, but every 2025 Camry will feature a combination of a gas four-cylinder engine and one or two electric motors. Pros. Smooth, strong engine response. Easily achieves 45 miles per gallon. Comfortable for long-distance travel. Tons. Limited headroom. Engine noise during hard acceleration. The premium sound system falls short of expectations. This model will be a significant upgrade for those returning to the dealer for their second, fourth, or even sixth Camry. Whether judged on performance, aesthetics, or numbers, the ninth generation Camry represents a notable improvement over its predecessor. Beyond fuel economy, the Toyota Prius made hybrid synonymous with high MPG over 20 years ago. Today, the advantages of driving a gas-electric car extend beyond just saving the planet and reducing fuel costs. As hybrid technology has advanced, the power dynamics have shifted to favor the electric components. Modern hybrids now offer more of the smooth, punchy electric driving experience we enjoy in EVs, and less of the strained engine noise that once made fuel-efficient cars less appealing. The new powertrain in the Camry demonstrates how an electric motor can enhance the driving experience of a conventional four-cylinder engine. In front-wheel drive models, a 184-horsepower four-cylinder engine pairs with a 134-horsepower electric motor to deliver a combined 225 horsepower. Opting for all-wheel drive adds $1,525 to the price and includes an additional 40-horsepower motor to power the rear wheels, increasing the peak output to 232 horsepower due to battery limitations. Regardless of the setup, the Camry has enough power to start moving solely on electric power before the engine kicks in. During city speed passing, our Camry XLE AWD test car responded faster to accelerator inputs than a typical gas engine. This is because the electric motor provides immediate power, without the delay of the air intake filling, the transmission downshifting, or the engine revving up. While Camry ownership isn't primarily about performance, the numbers bolster the hybrid's appeal. In motor trend testing, the 3,748-pound Camry XLE AWD reached 60 miles per hour in a smooth 6.9 seconds, half a second quicker than the current 208-horsepower hybrid and four-cylinder models. Performance enthusiasts might miss the outgoing 301-horsepower V6 model, which accelerated to 60 miles per hour in under 6 seconds. A Camry with a plug-in hybrid powertrain from the RAV4 Prime could bridge this gap, though fitting a large enough battery into the car would be challenging. Fuel economy matters too. According to the EPA, fuel mileage can vary, but the hybrid Camry shows consistent efficiency. The XLE AWD's window sticker indicates 46-46-46 MPG city slash highway slash combined, suggesting that the Camry will maintain impressive fuel economy regardless of driving conditions. Our real-world experience confirmed this, with fuel economy consistently in the mid-40s across various driving scenarios. As remarkable as its fuel economy is, the Camry's driving experience is quite unremarkable, and that's a good thing. Toyota clearly designed this car to be a hybridized Camry rather than an enlarged Prius. You engage drive by sliding a traditional gear selector, not by turning a knob or using a joystick. There's no one pedal driving or high regen mode. You slow down using the brake pedal just as you always have. Unlike the Prius, where you often hear a high-pitched hum from energy recapture, the Camry Hybrid remains silent in this regard. The only hint of hybrid quirks is the Camry's 2.5-liter engine, which still sounds like a laboring cow when you accelerate hard for extended periods. This is less annoying now because the electric motors provide enough torque to keep the engine revs low while maintaining traffic flow. However, in a world where automakers can make VSIXS sound like V8s and EVs mimic gas engines, Toyota could surely improve the sound of its hybrids. Smooth operator. The Camry's sleek nose, narrow headlights, and subtly bulging rear fenders suggest a more aggressive stance, aligning with Toyota's renewed interest in sporty cars. However, don't be misled or alarmed. The SE and XSE trims feature sport-tuned springs and dampers along with larger anti-roll bars for sharper handling. On the other hand, the XLE AWD, as tested here, retains the comfort-first experience that Camry drivers love. The smooth and mostly quiet operation of the gas-electric powertrain extends to the overall driving experience. Driving this Camry is calming, even in the most stressful rush-hour traffic.
At the test track, this Camry performs right in the middle of the pack. Its 114-foot stop from 60 miles per hour is slightly better than the 121-foot average for 2023 to 2025 model year cars tested by Motor Trend. With a cornering grip of 0.82G, it falls just 0.02G short of its peers. The dampers are a bit too soft for car enthusiasts, resulting in more bounce and side-to-side -side head movement than desired when crossing expansion joints on highway curves. However, for the average driver looking for a near-luxury car without the high price tag, this $40,780 Camry XLE is perfectly tuned. The tall and short of it. The price is inflated by the $4,760 Premium Plus package on our test car, which includes both valuable upgrades and some annoyances. Front and rear parking sensors, a 360-degree camera system, a large head-up display, and ventilated seats are all positive additions. However, the extra active safety systems can be more bothersome than helpful, particularly the driver attention monitor that nags when you look anywhere other than straight ahead. Additionally, the 9-speaker JBL audio system doesn't sound particularly premium. A real issue is the Premium Plus Pack's panoramic sunroof, which reduces front headroom by 0.8 inches, already in short supply. Two staffers, measuring 6 foot 1 and 6 foot 3, found the Camry's low roof a deal-breaker. While the rear seats offer plenty of legroom but limited headroom, they are suitable for kids, car seats, and those with long legs. Up front, there's excellent storage in the center console, easily accessible USB ports, and upholstered trim with a stylish crosshair pattern. Toyota's latest in-car technology enhances the Camry's cabin, bringing it up to date. The crisp, high-mounted center screen features large icons, easy-to-read fonts, and a simple menu structure on the left side. We do wish there were a customizable home screen capable of displaying navigation and audio information simultaneously, but at least the standard wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto provide an alternative. We appreciate the physical climate controls for easy adjustments to fan speed or temperature, though reconfiguring the digital gauge cluster remains a cryptic and challenging process. The Bigger Picture For years, Toyota has focused on reducing carbon dioxide emissions by investing in hybrids rather than EVs. With every 2025 Camry featuring a gas-electric powertrain, the company is now putting this strategy into action more than ever. By converting 88% of Camry buyers from gas cars to hybrids, Toyota will prevent approximately 380,000 tons of carbon dioxide from entering the atmosphere annually. While this is a small fraction, about 0.03% of the annual U.S. carbon dioxide emissions from gasoline, transforming a fleet of 280 million vehicles won't happen overnight. The good news for Camry buyers is that, regardless of their concern for carbon emissions, they will get a better car. With the all-hybrid 2025 Camry lineup, Toyota is steering buyers toward a car that offers even more of the comfort and quiet competence they have come to expect.